Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. What's up? And if you are new, I just want to welcome you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I can wait. You know, I can wait. Anyway, I would love to have you as a part of our family over here. If you're an OG, you already know. But I just wanted to let you know that I do post videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I do have a poll going on here and on my YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. I am considering going to Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, but it really depends. I know a lot of people are like, it's whatever your schedule, but I do plan to upload every day at 6 p.m. Today's video we are talking about curly hair again. I know y'all can see the change. My hair used to be up a lot but I did decide to put it down just because it is in a twist out and y'all this is a quick update. I just wanted to let you guys know that my hair is really flourishing right now. I know I talked about like the struggles and I did use the head wraps and I am going to be incorporating some wigs especially for the fall and winter. So you guys will see that, but I will tell you, I did get a trim and she cut off maybe about an inch, inch and a half. Um, no, 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 no. She cut off maybe about two inches of hair. So I just wanted to come back and let you guys see how it looks. It used to be a lot longer, but I'd rather have healthy hair than to have long hair that's straggly and looking raggedy because you can really tell especially in a straight state you can tell a lot more but with the shape and everything I wanted to come and you know for it to have a little bit more shape that is an update I will come up with some more updates you guys I have been using my castor oil I use that a lot to nourish my hair and for hair growth I tend to I am going to incorporate some vitamins and let me know if you are taking some vitamins I've heard about the curls the liquid one that a lot of people think that that's good but let me know what you think about that and I am also going to incorporate more like stretch styles because we're that's what we're going to get into that today's today. video we're going to be talking about hair porosity struggles yes we are talking about what high porosity struggles with I've seen what you guys were saying about you know when I talked about my recipe for disaster was the wash and go and I also came with how to repair high porosity I did want to talk about the struggles because a lot of you guys have the same struggles as I do and I wanted to really talk about what to address when you are dealing with high porosity here so let's just jump right in okay so the first thing we struggle with is dryness. I know we talked about different um, reasons why our hair is dry. I did do a video a while ago, but it's still relevant to today. If you want me to do some more of those type of videos, go ahead and let me know with a thumbs up. It always lets me know what you guys want to see and let me know if that's something that you uh, struggle with in terms of dryness. Put it down in the comments and if you could be specific about your dryness in terms of your hair does it like after a day is it dry or is it dry period once you do your hair let me know down in the comments and we can maybe address that and talk about some natural hair disasters how about that and we can maybe come back and do like maybe like a q and a take those and kind of like roll it over into another video but as I said we are talking about dryness y'all I struggle with dryness all the time so you know I do have a video like I said that is I did a while back but I gave some reasons why your hair might be dry why you going through the struggle I'll link it over here just so you guys can see I did that at Ipsy Studios and had such a great time I'm thinking about doing like a part two to that and y'all love the video with me and Aisa, um, the high porosity do's and don'ts. I can come with another video with that, but definitely dryness. We tackle with, that's one of our struggles dealing with dryness and that is because they're basically because it's high porosity that means that it's highly porous hair strands and that means we have a lot of holes and basically when water gets in there it evaporates just as fast so as soon as I have water on my hair usually I'm attacking attacking that with applying an oil to lock in that moisture and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere so basically water and oil like I said in that video water and oil kind of like 
you know, they are like enemies. If you want to keep your moisture, you make sure that you have great sealants. If you saw in my declutter, my days of declutter, I have a ton of oils. I really didn't get rid of too many. And that's because oils is so, so important for high porosity. So get a great sealant and you will lock down that moisture. Another thing, another tip is to do your hair on soaking wet hair. I had an issue of like washing my hair and rinsing the hair conditioner, the conditioner out or your shampoo and then wringing your hair out and then applying product. I highly suggest for high porosity hair, applying your sealant or your leave-in conditioner, how whatever method, if you're doing LCO or LOC, let liquid initially be water. Water is the highest form of itself. So getting a moisturizer that has water is great, but nothing beats water. So I highly recommend you applying your product straight to soaking wet hair it whether if that's using a spray bottle or if you're stepping out of the shower or if you're applying product in the shower now i will suggest that you do it outside of the shower just because oils tend to make you slip inside and i would hate for someone to be injured in the shower so i highly recommend you applying your sealants outside of the shower just because some of that is going to get on the shower floor believe it or not and yeah I'm just saying. Okay, tip number two, we are only gonna do three tips. Tip number two is to make sure that you have a great, creamy, deep moisturizing leave-in conditioner. Okay, that is going to help out a lot as well. That is tackling the dryness again, as I said, and yeah, just get a great leave-in conditioner. I do have some top fives on my on my channel i also have some of my favorite that i've done reviews on shea moisture camille rose you can get some great moisturizers at the drugstore as well so i just talked about one maui moisture is an amazing one so yeah dig into those leave-in conditioners and finally let's talk about tip number three in terms of dryness y'all we have to moisturize and seal that's just something that we have to deal with that's something that we have to embrace moisturizing and sealing and you probably will have to do this every night just get that great moisturizer get your sealant and moisturize before you go to bed and yeah i hope those helped you out don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know if you want to see more hair porosity struggles recipes from a disaster and i will see you guys in the next video bye loveys